Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 172. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now, let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the 31 laps of Sebring. Uh, we've got an S-Class Diablo GTR. We're going to see how well this does. Uh, and obviously, we've got the full circuit. Right, here we go. <laughs> Come on, chop chop. <coughs> Come on, Mr. Lamborghini. Oh, I gotta be careful with that. That's my controller cable. Don't want to kick that out because that uh will break. And then I'm screwed because I actually don't have a 360 controller. Like I genuinely don't have a working 360 controller. So uh, I'd be fucked. Heads up, we've detected copyrighted content in your live stream. Cheers. Be stand up. Be stand up. Holy fuck, 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 fuck. There we go. Do, do, do. Do, do. Beep, 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 I think I make a, 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 a <laughs> brain fart. I think I made a good choice with a car this time. Yeah, you stay back. This is going to be a nightmare of a race if I've got that sailing on my ass the entire time. Only they added updates to add more cars and tracks. Project Cars 2, like, falls up. Did I respond to that? I don't think I did. I'm not interested, sure. Um, but yeah, like, I'll be honest, when it comes to, like, project cars, it's a little bit... Obviously, project cars as a series has been cancelled, obviously. Like, why wouldn't it have been? It's... It did terribly for the third game. And then they were like, oh, do you know what? We're 
We'll cancel it because the game didn't do well. Well, no shit, it didn't do well. You fucking ruined it. But yeah, obviously that's not going to exist anymore. No more project cars. Dirt series has been cancelled, so it's now only WRC. They're not going to make an arcade off-road racing game. Like, there's part of me that thinks that maybe these game developers are making terrible games to cancel series. And I'll be honest, now is the perfect opportunity to get another Midnight Club. Because if they made Midnight Club 3, or fucking... Oh no, they've already done 3. 4. But 4 is LA, isn't it? 5. Make another Midnight Club. Right. It would sell. Rockstar, get on with it. Come on. The problem is that they'll add these sort of Midnight Club-esque things to GTA and just say, yeah, that's fine. No one will question it. I'm questioning it. I believe my stream has just been blocked in Russia because there's one song that keeps playing on this playlist or one artist in particular and their songs are all blocked in Russia for some reason. So if that's the case why this warning keeps coming up, it means my stream's been blocked in Russia. So nobody can see me in Russia right now. Unless they use a VPN, which you should use a VPN, because VPNs are awesome. Come on, come on, come on, get around that corner. Woo, that was close. Right, so I am now four laps in, and I'm only one and a half seconds ahead of the sailing.
How do I feel about what happened to DeVries? I'm happy that Daniel Ricciardo is back in Formula 1. Let's start with that. Because I am a huge fan of Danny Rick. I think... I think he's got a phenomenal personality. And it's the kind of personality that you need on the grid. Similar to, like, Kimi Raikkonen. Like, Kimi was on the diff other end of the scale of personality. Fuck's sake! I lost the position. At the same time... I'm gutted for DeVries because he's a rookie. You should have been given more of a chance. Especially when Sonoda had such a shit start to his season when he first joined. He definitely didn't get given the chance. However, at the same time, he's been pretty much in the last three positions almost every single race and for a team like Alpha Towery when your teammate is that much further ahead of you yeah I don't think he deserved the seat at that point however I also believe that's not the intention of the DeVries drop because you look at Red Bull and Sergio Perez. I think they're trying to make a subtle dig at Perez after this year's performance. Because last year he was pretty good. This year, dog shit. I think they're trying to make a subtle dig at Perez to say, look, if you're not performing compared to your teammate, this is what happens. And I think it's going to work. It's either going to put... A fucking fire under Perez's ass I don't know it's a tough one by the way based on how this race is going it looks like I'm holding the saline back because I'm in front of it and I'm using blocking tactics and whatnot to make sure they can't overtake so, I think I'm just going to have to look at when the saline goes into the pits and pit then. Like, on the same lap. Or if I miss that opportunity, pit the lap after. So I can stay as close to the saline as possible. As much as it sucks what happened to De Vries, I think it's just a fact of the matter that's just got to happen. Obviously, you got to think, De Vries has had a pretty good career in Formula E. So, yeah, when, when you look at it, maybe Formula 1 isn't the place for him. You see a lot of Formula 1 drivers that move to Formula E because it hasn't worked for them actually perform quite well in Formula E. Maybe De Vries is just a good... It, it is De Vries that was in Formula E, wasn't it? Oh, shit. I missed my breaking point. I shall rewind that one.
is a good song. This new album by Skrillex was actually pretty good. Quite a fan of it. I mean, it was it was more than one album as well. He released two albums, which kind of unheard of. Like literally on the same day, released two albums. Now that's kind of crazy. In Harley's clothes. Oi, get back, you prick. Hey, get out of my sandwich. No. Diablo look like on the inside. Fuck me, that was close. Oh, the Diablo's got a nice interior, actually. I forget how useful this camera angle is as well. Like, out of any camera angle, this is one of the best that a racing game can put in. Because A, it looks the fastest. B, you get a rear view camera. So you can see behind you. Well, that, that's trippy. <laughs> Such a weird song. Oh, 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 oh. oh my 
my gosh! Come on. Ah, you prick. Uh, what is my favorite race car? Um... Go race car, I'd probably have to say... Probably go for Subaru WRX. Right across. I think that's one of the most famous, most recognizable race cars. It's quite a good race car. In terms of modern ones, I'd definitely say the Toyota Yaris. Yeah, it's it looks mean. And it's a killer machine. Besides rally cars. Um, I don't think there is many race cars that I quite like the look of. I'm trying to avoid saying Formula 1. Because obviously, in, in terms of race cars, they're, they're the best. They're some of my favourites. Um, one I've seen recently that I quite like the look of. There is a GT3 version of the 400Z, that new Nissan, that I think looks awesome. I'd say that's probably my favourite looking car at the moment. Like, in, in terms of, when it comes to race cars, they're all very similar, so it's not like... Oh, maybe the, uh, is there an M8? I'm 99% sure there's an M8 race car as well. That was quite cool. Quite a nice car, actually. <laughs> I do really like the C7, though. I think the C7 is my favourite car. Because they did a ZR1 facelift version of it as well in like 20, I think it was 2018 or 2019. That I think looks stunning. grass there and I went on the grass there instead <clears throat> oh 
Oh, that's pretty cool. I used to be into building, like, models and stuff like that. But I just haven't really bothered with them the past few years. I don't have the time, especially with doing, like, YouTube and wanting to play video games and whatnot. And also work. There just isn't the time to be able to do that. And some people will also go like, oh, but you only work like eight hours a day. You've got eight hours of play time and then you've got eight hours of sleep. How have you not got time? I saw a genuine comment like that. And it's like, do people really think that people, when they go to work for the day, for eight hours, that they only work for eight hours? When you go to work, you have to spend time getting ready for work. And then spend time getting home from work and getting unready from work. Settling down, maybe, you know, getting washed. Again, it's about an hour each side for me. So if I'm doing a seven hour shift, it's actually taking up nine hours of my day. So, yeah, things, uh, I don't have the time, really, realistically. See, this is why I can't pit yet. I have to pit though. We're only gonna make it to lap 25 till we run out of fuel, so. I am required to pit at some point. I wanna keep the saline close though. Cause I think if I can notice when the saline is dipping into the pits, Because at the moment, when I'm making a mistake, the saline can't overtake me. So the problem is, if I go and pit too soon, uh, that could give the saline plenty of opportunities to actually gain time on me. And I don't want to have to do this race again. Just lost all that time through one corner because that saline catches up on the straights. I'm curious how that saline has been so quick, especially with the fact that this has like aerodynamic packages on it to give it downforce, and this is still slower than the saline in corners. Like, what the fuck is the saline using? Fucking black magic.
Slight mistake and it's fucked me over. Love that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so close to that one. See, I don't understand why YouTube recommends that the bitrate turned down so much. When YouTube's own website recommends, like, a higher bitrate. Like, they're telling me, oh, you should use 4,000 kilobits a second. No, I want 15,000. Get that quality up.
once we're onto the next category and I can actually pick like a car that's fast, it should be fine. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to sell a load of cars, I've realized. Because when it comes to, uh, what's it called? That S Class World Championship. The one that I said, oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna use the McLaren F1 GT. I'm gonna have to get 4 million credits for that. I mean, to be fair, I've got 2.2. No, I don't. I've got less than that now. I should be able to get enough credits there, because I can just sell some cars. Obviously, I don't want to sell the cars, but if I sell some valuable ones. We should be able to get enough to get them a on. Lamborghini can hold the car behind up just enough so I don't have to worry about it. Zonda, get out of the way! At least the Lamborghini did its job and held the other car up, and I think that Zonda will hold the saving up in this long sweeping corner. Ah, you fuck. It has actually done a good enough job that I feel confident enough. I'm gonna do that. Obviously you're supposed to go around the outside, but I've decided to cut the corner a little bit there and hope I can get a little bit of extra time. If the game doesn't penalise it you for it, then you must be allowed to do it. So I'ma do it.
there's a... Wait, is that the saline up there? No way is the pit stop that quick. Oh, it's being held up by whatever car that is. Oh, what a legend. It can't get past. But I've just got past the Zonda, no problem. Except for the fact I may have fucked up the Zonda's race there, but I don't care. Because I'm not the Zonda and I don't give a shit. What is that? Is that a Gallardo? No, we passed the guy. What? The guy I don't got past. What? I thought we passed that. Did the Zonda and the Saline pit? No, they can't have. Now that's bugging me. There is only one. So how did the Gallardo get ahead of the Zonda then? They must have pit. They there can't be any other way. No, but then the McLaren would have been still up ahead, unless everybody pit the same. But no one's. I'm confused. Baffled. But if that means that the saline hasn't hit, then I should be good. Mind of my own damn business. Oh, this is a tune. It doesn't surprise me. Come from. I don't ever want to see you and I never want to miss you. They're catching up. This is literally the home of like racing games and vibes. Everything on this stream is just straight up vibes.
Get out the way. Fucking hell, lad! Fucking hell, lad! Fucking hell! <laughs> oh, that was great. Unless the Zonda held the saline back so much that the Gallardo, the Zonda messed up, the saline was stuck behind it, the Gallardo overtook, and then the saline overtook the Zonda again. Leaving the Zonda behind the saline, but the saline was then stuck behind the car. That's the only thing I can think that could have happened. But that's a very specific case of how the fuck did the saline get? I don't know. I will have to take its word for it. Oh, by the way, chat. I think a video came out. And the, the uh, TDU Solar Crown things happened. Hopefully a release date is announced, because if it's been announced... Because I want to be able to get the game day one. I don't want to have to wait fucking ages for it. corner cut. I saved so much fucking time there. But to be fair, that's how that corner should be. Let's be real. Obviously, instead of it being grass, tarmac. But that section of track is dreadful. See what I mean, though, by these tracks? Like, American cars go around American tracks really well because they're just designed for it. Using a European car around an American track, it doesn't work. I 
love this song. Do you know one thing I want to do at some point? I've got to look around for it. I want to get Guitar Hero 3 on the Xbox. And I want to do a Guitar Hero 3 playthrough on stream. At some point. It'll get copyrighted like crazy, but I want to do it. Yo, just straight line, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. Don't mind me asking, uh, how did you find the stream today? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mess that corner up. What the fuck is the saline? It's in the pits! It's done a pit stop and I didn't even notice. Either that or it's been dead. behind a minute 59 behind where's the saline no way just a straight line thank you for the subscription my man appreciate it I'm actually curious why we're a minute 59 behind. I want to say it's a game bug. Because I don't see how I could be a minute 59 behind. Or ahead, sorry. Because that means then in... Well... If I drive well for the next two laps, I'm going to lap the same thing. Two minutes and two... What happened? That means the saline is the car in front of me. It's confusing as hell. I feel like I'm just... No, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. Because then that car in front is the saline. It's just gone over the checkpoint where it's marked. That car in front is a sailing. But then how have I... No, because that still doesn't make sense. If that car in front is second place, which is a sailing, then why the hell have I not overtaken... I'm baffled. I'm actually so confused. Because I can't even catch up with them. This game is broke. I've had a weird bug. Fine, so try to hand through the stream. 
all this down from now on. You can forget all future plans. If you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like. Every like is greatly appreciated and it really does help support the channel. Especially with the algorithm. Because the YouTube algorithm is very much focused on likes at the moment rather than uh, actual viewership or content. That's not even the Sailie. But it says the... So it's marking the fourth place car as the car that's behind me. So realistically, I don't actually know how far the car behind it actually is. That's not the sailing. That's a CLK. Okay, that makes a little more sense now. Why don't you stream on Twitch? Uh, because of the fact that I'm not really liking how Twitch is at the moment, unfortunately. I know it is a lot easier, but at the, at the same time, get out of the way, prick. At the same time, with how Twitch is uh, towards its streamers, it's not a very welcoming environment for streamers. For viewers, it's perfect, but there's no point streaming to a platform that just doesn't, A, doesn't give a shit, and B makes everything an absolute nightmare. So I'd much rather stream to YouTube at the moment. Um, until Twitch turns around and actually changes their found you from Xbox. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. So I don't uh, stream on Twitch just because of the fact that Twitch isn't a great platform to stream on anymore. Plus, YouTube's a lot easier for people to actually watch streams, so... Do I? Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, I haven't, um... I haven't really been on Xbox for, like, three years, so anybody that I've followed in the past, like... Wow. Yeah, I haven't... I don't know. <laughs> I am actually in a couple of months' time. I'm going to be, like, completely removing my entire friends list. Um, because, A, I don't play Xbox enough. Like, e even favourite friends, I'm going to be removing. Um, because when it comes to playing, like, Forza Motorsport, I want the names that come up on the driver tasks to be the names of people that are in chat, for example, and I'll have their Xbox gamer tags be the drivers. So I want to be able to add people that have, that watch the stream and I can then have their, uh, what's it called, gamer tags in the game. That's the plan when it comes to those games, but that's in a while anyways. I still gotta finish Motorsport 3, 4, and Horizon 1 first. Very good. 
long time. I think that is the saline behind me right now. No. That's a McLaren. No, the Mercedes. Um, I'm absolutely baffled as to what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. At least I know I'm in first place and that's all that matters, so... We've got three laps left to go and then we're done with this race. good songs on this playlist by the way my streams vibes playlist has gone up like two tiers that's how much better it is than it used to be Oh my gosh. Okay. Just about go around the corner there. I missed my breaking point. It's fine though, because I can cut that corner and gain a load of time. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the video or the live stream, depending on where you're watching it from, feel free to drop a like. Obviously, greatly appreciate it. Every single uh, bit of support helps out. And it really does help. And if you guys want to support the channel even further, you can join as a channel member, gain yourself access to exclusive perks, or use the super chat feature if you want to make just a one-off donation. You can either use the super chat or the super stickers. Or if you're watching as a video and you're not on the live stream, you can use the super thanks feature as well. There's all sorts of different ways that you can help support the channel. But obviously the best way to support is to give that thumbs up and watch all the videos. <laughs>
Auto Quest. Hard drive is going to be almost full. Just full of like 60, 70 gigabyte video files from each of these races. Place finish. All right. Oh my gosh. That was good. Let's have a look at the race results, see what that says. So it wasn't that far behind. The saline was actually 14 seconds behind, not 2 minutes and 38 seconds behind, as the game was saying. But we got a lot of money, we got a lot of XP, we're going to get ourselves a little bit of a bonus as well. Three times for them holes on the internet. Four times for them days that were all bad. Five times for the bitches that we call bad. Zeno, this is the song. This is the song. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -huh.